Today in pirate history in 1718, the flagship of Blackbeard's fleet, the Queen Anne's Revenge, sank in the sandy shoals of Beaufort Inlet, a mile inland from the coast of North Carolina. The ship had been caught on a hidden sandbar unseen in the murky waters. Blackbeard had captured the 200-ton frigate in November of 1717 near the island of Martinique in the Caribbean. Blackbeard and his crew abandoned the ship and it eventually sank below the waterline. The wreckage lay hidden and undiscovered until 1996 when a salvage company that was looking for a different wreck found the highly sought after famous vessel. The Queen's Anne's Revenge lays in a mere 23 feet below the surface. 300,000 artifacts from the ship have been recovered, but the wooden structure of the ship has deteriorated with the passage of time. Among the artifacts are cannons, ammunition, gun parts, buckles, anchors, fragments of jewelry, dinnerware, and gold dust. This leads us to believe Blackbeard was able to retrieve any treasure the ship was carrying before abandoning the slowly sinking ship. If you're a fan of pirates, go check out my book, Pirates of the Wild West, where Blackbeard is one of the main characters that is transported to 1873, the days of the Wild West.